so a new museum opened up in the Pentagorda, Florida area, and I thought I would give it a gander. If you could see the sign up at the top of the stairs, it says the Military Heritage Museum. And they actually just opened up recently, as far as I'm aware. So I thought I would give it a shot. Civil War era. Look at those eyeglasses. Well, he took off. He gets to be Black from 1896. And then we after here you go to World War One, World War Two, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Wars, and then, you know, what's on the second floor is the library, and also the flight simulator. Western Virginia, the Romney Expedition. And then up there, Andrew Jackson, the War of 1812. It says Polish immigrant who served in the U.S. Army in World War II. One. We do have some interesting things in here. I wasn't expecting to see as much. Gas mask. What a bunker would have looked like. Think about our history. We have records about the American final moments. You know, it kind of makes me uncomfortable just looking at things like that, doesn't it? Vietnam, Korean War, Cold War, looks like maybe like an underground bunker of some kind, 
shows you how they dug it out. And like this is what it would look like. This is also Vietnam. Oh, look at this. Like that duck home. That's how they would cover it up. Ho Chi Minh. Down in a tunnel. A portrait of Ho Chi Minh. I wasn't expecting the museum to have this much stuff in it. French. And actually upstairs they have flight simulators and I'm about to do that. 20th century. Oh, there's some more. War on here. <coughs> Look at these soda cans. RC. Coke, Pepsi, Budweiser, the Medal of Honor, it's definitely a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Prisoners of War, Missing Dinner Guest, Fight Surgeons, it looks like he has a bunch of like uniforms, outfits, Molly Pinscher. And it looks like back there it's like a like commanding desk where you have all the people sitting. Purple heart. Let's check out some purple hearts. So I'm about, I'm about to go upstairs where they have the flight simulators. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to film, being that I'll be taking part, but I'll let you know what I think about it. So I found out they were in this location for the museum for, I believe he said two years, but they have been around longer than that. So I've just never noticed this museum before. I am not one who is overly into military history things but I figured I'll give this a go you know just check it out being that I do like history and they it's surprising to see how much stuff they actually had because I wasn't expecting much at all um the they have I didn't film it but they have um a flight simulator where it's like you're flying a plane and they also have like virtual reality goggles that will st stimulate like you're skydiving out of the back of a plane so those things alone are pretty cool to experience in this setting but also if you're into military history i think this would be a good place to check out especially if you're in the area if it's a rainy day they have like under like the first floor is parking in the museum they have elevators that go up to the museum so that way you don't even have to get in the rain if it happens to be raining, adults are $12. I believe if you're a veteran, it's $10. Kids are a little bit less than that. Just to give you a price point of what it would cost to come visit this museum. So until next time, take care and I'll see you later.